everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Here's someone talking about Vox's past actions as a person named Callisto. If it's true or if it's been debunked, recent rules have been applied to the community, of course, of allegations just staying as allegations. Should Nidhi Sanji fire Vox? It's not up to us or any of us. I think Nidhi Sanji probably knew about it or Nidhi Sanji doesn't care at this point, even if it is true. The allegations are still just allegations. Vox and Vade are, are the Calypso person are the same person. Um, it is, even if they are, aren't, whatever. Some people saying that they are, some people saying that they aren't. Whoever they are, I am not going to go too far into everything because some of the stuff that's in that document i've read it myself because i wanted to make sure to read it myself some of the stuff in that document has some per what i believe to be personal identifiable information and uh i will not put it out there as you know i try to uh straight up block any of that stuff just to make sure that uh anything that is here is just you know not doxing in any way you're going to fire vox they would have done it ages ago they have shown they won't kill what they see as their golden geese the fans will still blindly support newbies are being turned around in general so it's a waste of time to actually try to ask for that kind of stuff and on top of that Nidhi doesn't have any reason to fire talents for things they did before they were a talent it's mainly because even if we're you do things as a talent Nidhi Sandy says they will not step in for the most part unless you know it's like really really bad PR I guess and then they'll step in uh they look at Luca PL current liver situation they don't care as long as the people willing to spend money on them don't stop Nidhi Sandy cultivated an audience like that for a reason when you have your fans such a chokehold but they don't care what the world is burning around them as long as their Oshi is streaming and we are still going to the bat for that company no matter what. They're created an audience that will believe them no matter what, no matter what they do or say, It's a blatant, even if it's a blatant lie. So yeah, some people are saying here it has been uh, supposedly debunked by this guy, this post here. So that's why I'm saying like if it is or it isn't, um, this person here says that it isn't that all this has been debunked and uh it says pretty sure this information came out earlier from this debut doesn't seem to be too credible seen more about a bunch of nothing burgers and attempted to get him canceled with little no defense uh evidence no evidence so people are saying it's debunked some people are saying it's true like i'm saying it's just allegations right now uh this person says here basically in front of the vox is vade as far as the allegations it stays as that allegations there's a lot of back and forth in most online archives about the situation tend to agree that vade was falsely accused and a victim on the matter so vox is vade or Vox's Calypso or whatever it is, but the whole uh, them being a groomer and all that kind of stuff is debunked according to this person, according to the mod, and according to the general consensus online, it has been debunked. I will not link sources on this because it lists some other rather, rather personal information, same way that I believe. It's personal information, have to do your own digging if you want it. Ultimately, it doesn't matter in relation to the subreddit. It doesn't matter if talent or may or may not have done previously. What does matter is that any color has caused talents to almost blank themselves and uh, cause other talents to almost ruin their lives. That's very true. That's I, I agree with that. The connection between Vox, Callisto, and Vade is pretty much confirmed. Like basically, Vox is Vade. Vox is Vade. Um, you know that kind of stuff is 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 proven. Um, so I personally won't confirm either way. Maybe some other mod will. However, the first part is uh identities being named as solid. Uh, of course, though the fact Vade, Callisto, Vox connection is confirmed doesn't mean that anyone allowed to bring it up in space so yeah fakes vade vox calypso all the same thing it gets confusing for a bit but it, they're all the same thing but still leave them be don't really do things to hurt them don't do things to try to uh do anything with the identity of it that's why i don't push it out there that's why i don't read the the uh the full thing on here because i do not want to dox anybody here we have uh nidhi sanji posting something on alba Knox, the birthday thing it's like, is there really any point to this? They posted it hours ago on the official Arnold Gisandi subreddit. Yes, there's a post to it because they're trying to push their talents. It's bad if anyone wanted to reply to wish him a happy birthday, huh? They really want to reply, they could just effing ask. Uh among the talent, among the top rocking subs for their criteria, it fell down to top 50, now top 100. Soon that sub will no longer be among the top 100. It's because the activities dropped because of the fact you have to be an approved poster here in order for you know yourself to go through use this thread somehow to wish them a happy birthday uh at this point they're having everything so locked down that they, even if they make posts like this it will start to draw attention for being too quiet it won't draw attention uh find the idea that everything will happen on reddit is actually a uh, one underpaid intern uh that decided it would be easier to lock it down and delete almost everything without telling their supervisor and just pretend everything is normal uh it's it's funny to me it, it is it is a funny thing to have all that stuff you know like locked down in the way that it is it's unfortunate but it is kind of funny this is a very important message because i have seen people do this on twitter etc uh 
people saying that, oh, if you're harassed enough, they'll want to escape. No, harassment is never an answer. Harassment, bullying, that kind of stuff is never an answer. Uh, asking when they're going to graduate is never an answer. You know, bugging them on Twitter, hoping that they'll graduate and they'll move on to the better place is not an answer. That is never an answer. It says, that's not how it works. First off, there's a contract that needs to be followed. Exactly. They they're, they're usually have a pretty tight uh, two-year contract that they have to go to one, th one to two years. The termination of this contract could result in negative consequences for the liver and as a result, take away the living uh, that they might have made. Second off, Nidisandi is a black company full of crap and full of crappy people. Uh, Uki Violeta, Finana, etc. Uh, Vox. Third, let the livers be actual people. Yeah, let them enjoy themselves if they are, enjoy themselves in that company. Don't bug them about it. They're working for Nidisandi. They're not mentally deranged for wanting to work for them. It's a job. Do you think retail workers want to deal with Karens every day and deal with their crap? No. I was a retail worker. I hated it. I was a retail worker for about a year. I hated it. So when a lot of people come to the livers chat, oh, you effing idiot for working in Nidisandi. It's just no point in it. Exactly. Like, I needed that job to survive i hated it but i needed that job to survive so i can definitely relate to the whole thing of maybe needing that job to survive of needy sanji you signed a contract here there for a year or whatever you know both of you assume are the ones doing it they're like the only 10k here versus literally millions on the internet it could be anybody but it's a good psa here anyways definitely a valid perspective to consider the broader online community beyond just our subreddit you're right that the internet is vast and there are unfortunate plenty of individuals out there who thrive and of course there are people like me who read the subreddit so it's good to put a PSA out there. It's good to put a PSA out there uh, to let people know if you read the subreddit, if you're against Niji, that's fine. Be against the company, but don't harass the livers. Hell, don't even harass the company. Don't go and harass Riku because harassment just makes you the loser in this whole thing, makes you seem evil in this whole thing. So it's not a good idea to do it. To put it bluntly, not all people are level-headed like we are. Then again, some people get so obsessed, it's hard to reason with them. That's why you also get instances where fans get peed when they're Oh, she collabs with someone they don't like or the opposite gender in general. Exactly. If you want your words to be heard, do it on Twitter. Uh, but, you know, maybe they felt that there was going to be a larger, larger uh, community here. Uh, completely agree with the sentiment here. Disheartening to see some individuals resort to harassment and negativity towards the, t the livers, the talents. While it's true that they have been raided by those certain extremist factions, not all of us are like that. It's crucial to remember that the livers are real people with their own lives and livelihoods. It shouldn't be subjected to unwarranted hate or criticism. Yeah, it's not an anime character. It's not an anime like like you're you're getting angry at Goku. You're getting angry at a human behind the screen too. So just remember that. This connects to what I have said in other videos and other things. Do not go and actually uh, go against the livers actively being like, when are you going to graduate or anything like that? Stop asking questions. When will X graduate from Niji? To any of the livers, it can lower their uh, self-esteem. It can lower their morale. It can lower a lot of things. So just don't do that, please. It's pretty much the same thing I have brought up a month ago. One thing to criticize the company and show concern for the talents and their well-being. It's another thing to demand that they uh, leave and save themselves, quote unquote. Uh, you know, all these things. Again, it's just basic courtesy to not ask things to decide when they want to graduate. They decide. They decide but don't ask them to do it quickly. Uh, too many tourists with no idea of that lately. Some a-hole said, when will you graduate from the problematic agency, Etna? And right here, we're going to, oh, basically uh, the person limited who can see their posts. They pretty much deleted the post most likely. Uh, this person here was, uh, they took away who it was, but they basically said, uh, and what's the point of asking this? Just curious, are you preparing something when it's time for me to graduate? Or do you just want to put pressure on me? Don't get used to asking stuff like that. Questions like that are messing with the liver's mental state. If you want to criticize the agency, go ahead. Go to the agency's official account. Later, if someone graduates, the information will also be notified. This is really problematic. It's making the livers under the radar of the company, you know, be, be really bad, you know. PSA, don't do like the guy in the screenshot. No contact in the talents. No asking when they will graduate. No bringing up PLs and the replies. Don't do that, please. It it really affects the livers. Sayu had to go through that. A lot of people have had to go through that when they leave Nidhi Sanji. So don't do that, please. Keep ignoring them. If no one watches them, they have a reason to stay. Stop thinking about them. And this is an Crimson's thing right here of the translated post, which, you know, verifies the translated post. Uh, the person here uh, limits who can view their profile. So they pretty much privated the profile it looks like um person here is saying my advice is don't deal with people like this the tip gives a spotlight same as being used as, a, as fried food i guess that's a weird translation but yeah don't do that we are going to doki bird and made mint who have of course done the wrestle tuber first day and i believe she was only going to be there for the first day but here we have it and uh of course no one has been talking about this yet but let's go uh she showed up They've talked about their past lives a lot. I heard E too. Oh God. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wait, what was the legendary move that you were waiting to see, Doki? Oh, we had the handy dandy. Do you think we're gonna see 
Daddy, Daddy. Daddy in 10 years. Daddy in 10 years. Yes. Come on, get her ass. Oh my god. Hey, you remember that move? That move is very funny. Yo, God. For some reason, I felt like I've seen that move before in a dream. Maybe you hit your head too many times because of it. Oof. Oh my god, that's so British. British are coming, everybody. Viva la revolution. Let's go. That's French. That's French. Oh, God. Country mint. France is across the ocean. Okay, well, you know. Across the ocean. <laughs> Technically across. It's the British look out into the ocean. Across from them is France. They're still connected by land. Though. No, they're not. They're not. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> of course, of course. Bro. Bro. What do you mean by that? You as well. Okay. You know all the flags in the world. <laughs> Alright, Pullman, what flag is that? It's European. No, it's not. It's freaking Venezuela or something or Colombia. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let me do this again. Pullman. It's South America. Like <laughs> top of Mount Fuji. Alright, where is it? Oh shit, it is Africa. <laughs> It's Mount Kilimanjaro, I guess. I guess it's Mount Kilimanjaro. Oh, I guess you thought it was Mount Kilimanjaro. But here's another very, very, very fun thing that I want to show you guys. Yo, uh, I wonder where is my co oh, oh, shit! She shows up! And she shows up in the best way possible. Look at that. Kept you waiting, huh? This wrestling ring is already haunted by the champion, Ducky Bird. <laughs> Freaking okay, like... Security? Freaking Undertaker I, I, I showing. I said no Amazing. Crashes tonight. What, what, what the fuck was that? How did they get here? Hello? 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 <laughs> that was your cue. <laughs> I don't know how I could have made that any more clear. Wait, where do I go? Hold on. Uh, okay. I'm a little bit. <laughs> oh my god. Now. Oh goodness gracious! Oh, be as big as your head. <laughs> yes, I have a co-caster. Not scripted. Everything is authentic. Everything is authentic, of course. Wrestling. wrestling is very much real. Yes, yes it's, it's really always real. Busted down the door. I killed a man to get here. You're a ghost. You can just phase through. Like that's the easiest answer you can say. It's <laughs> so boring. It's boring though. Yes. <laughs> True. <laughs> Sorry, you're right. Murder is better than just phasing in. Are you ready for the very first matchup of the day? Are you ready, I kids? Do you so even remember what the first matchup was? Uh, no. Uh, yeah. I, yeah. I was. Uh, it's, yeah. Um, it's live and it's Kai. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> you're so right. <laughs> it worked. It worked. They did it. They did it. They did it. So yeah, that's a, that's a the blessed Doki Mint collab that happened. I'm so glad that they're finally getting able to be back together. People can stop with their assumptions that they're never going to talk to each other. People are going to stop with the assumptions of all that other kind of stuff and just let them be who they want to be. This is a little bit of a side thing that I want to put out there of uh, how powerful Mint has become and uh, Doki Bird has become, especially Doki Bird, with all the creativity that she has, all the new ideas that she's popping up, the wrestle tuber that she took back from Nidhi Sandi's grasp. Uh, she's not negligible anymore. She's not. She had the fear of not being marketable, which is, I'm pretty sure, what Nidhi Sanji created in her mind. She felt that she wasn't marketable. Look at her now. She has 22,000 watching. She had on the first day of WrestleTuber, probably the same or similar numbers now that WrestleTuber Day 2 is going to happen. No surprise, these two were Nidhi's best and strongest power couple or powerhouse. Power of the best and brightest in one place. Doki and Mint are the same stream. Nidhi Sanji don't look. Ah, oh, yeah, that's the good S right there. Uh, remember, every time... Uh, those two collabs guaranteed to be a really fun stream. However, the uh, Niji effed up so bad to make them leave the company just beyond me. If I am Riku, I would fire whoever's managers they were that did that, of course. Subnautica is another thing that happened, 31k, and also Gura streaming at the same time. Seems like they taught Karsanji how to attract lots of viewers to their streams. Yeah, you, you just don't have all this PR nonsense that's going on. They sent Gura out, not for the Niji debuts, but there were any concern to Halloween ends. To Halloween ends, the real threat is these two. Of course, this... This is what scares people, of course. And uh, we have, you know, the whole situation in uh, how to plan to compete against Gargura. This is about the whole, you know, same thing here. Subnautica, the only way you can really compete is Doki Bird. And the reason why I'm adding it here is because I'm showing how strong Doki Bird can be, how marketable she can be, even though she said that she wasn't. Doki plus Mint plus 30 other VTubers from four Corpos is greater than Small Shark. That's how you compete. Never mind, Shark was just warming up. 
And here you have it of the full things. Live now, 23K, 26K. That's how you compete with Gargura. You have to bring a large team or you have to bring a bird, in a, a tomato in a skin suit who's doing really strong stuff. And this also ties into the whole Doki bird theme that I wanted to put in here. Doki is a gem to the industry. I know it's not original at this point, but seeing the love she puts to her work actually pay out is heartwarming. Greater interest in VTubing started with Sana's graduation and her willingness to spread love she received to all those and other talents. Seeing Doki host this huge event and have some of the smaller players involved, just beautiful. Knowing she did it all on her own in the past years through layers of censorship just makes it all sweeter. Russell Tuber is a solid proof that Doki can unleash her true potential. She's given the opportunity. Uh, but why, by the way, why given? Her presence in India is already an opportunity. And now I look at Kurosanji. They had a gem, they didn't know how to appreciate it, and they didn't polish it correctly, and look what's happened. Will Kurosanji think of getting the gem back? Who knows? Like that, They'll probably think of making another gem, or at least putting, I guess, more meat waves. But this is more on Doki's side, uh, the good things that she's done. Never saw her as a rock when she was really a diamond, worth so much more. Yeah, they saw her as just a regular rock, a regular you know, piece of whatever. Doki was Niji's cash cow. I have no idea how they were so mind-numbingly dumb and held her back and abused her for no reason. And the proof is in the pudding because look at how they are now. They're not doing very well. I mean, in comparison to how Doki's doing. Doki can not can barely handle all the influx of sponsors and other things. That's why she's hiring more people, you know? Pretty sure a lot of Niji Sanji's big events are organized by Doki herself. Without her, Niji Sanji would just be a streamer org and just a bunch of male BFE content creators. That's why her termination and the music video debacle are mind-boggling in every way. Without Doki Selen Pon or, and Pomu, arguably Niji didn't have a vision, a goal, except printing money as much as they can for Riku. And that's the thing. That's what I wanted to put out. Doki is a gem. Doki is doing very well. Doki is very marketable, and she should always feel that way. And a small bit of an addendum on what I just wrote about Doki, what I just put about Doki. She is trending on Twitter, which also shows, like I said, the marketability of what she has. That's just all I wanted to add to this. Tenjin, who is, of course, Tenjin, not Bonavir, is the one who it has recently been a part of the APX Finals. I think it's part of the game The Finals, I believe. It's just APX is the, the thing that they did. A lot of people thought it was Apex. I think I originally thought it was Apex, but no, it's it's a game called The Finals, I believe. Honestly, wouldn't be surprised to see them collab at some point for when it happens. Doki Bird showed up in, uh, in the Tenjin area. Said, I think Tenjin might be one of the rare few who can survive Doki's gaslighting. Doki showed up right after Bobo and graduated last night. Coincidence? I think not. Uh, it it says X Liver Lex Liver news and out of the loop. So what's who's Tenjin? It's right here. Who the person was? That now they're Tenjin. Remember, never mention their old lives in their current current lives. Their current VTuber persona is their only VTuber persona. Do not mention Nidhi Sanji at any point in time. Do not mention that they're glad they got out of the black company. Nothing like that because it can make them very uncomfortable. But more about Doki Bird showing up. Uh, and there, there's you know the actual part that he was going on right here when she first showed up. We have it right here. It says it's me, haha. Basically, what the last one showed, but this one's showing, you know, what he's going through. And the again, this is. The finals, I believe, is the, the, the game. Um, and yeah, so even without the collab, I hope Doki plays the finals. So effing fun. It's me. Was better one later with Tenjin chat to suck his blank. And Doki was like, for free? Had me crying laughing. Yep. Okay, there we go. If the auto timestamp doesn't work, it's 137.30. So here we go. Uh, the auto timestamp didn't work. <laughs> it didn't look, no, it didn't work. 137.30. Let's go to where it was. Shut up. Stop, Blow me. You know? uh, no. Oh, 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 no. Whoa. 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 Uh, no. Yeah. No, he didn't mean to say that. You oh, what the hell? Suck. Sir, okay, you sir. Both suck. No, no, sir. You suck. No, you suck. No, you suck. We suck. We suck. We suck. We suck. You suck. And there you go. There's Doki Bird. It says, whoa, for free? There we go. That's what I wanted to talk about. That's that's the one that I wanted to talk about. Uh, yeah. And um, that was perfect. Right there. For free? She, she said right there, for free? <laughs> of course, Doki Bird being her lovely, uh, you know, affable, uh, amazing self. And of course, Tenjin doing what he, Tenjin does. Some meme time for you. Oh, one of the best clowns I've ever seen. Need his sister account is Rabbit Doki Bird fan at first. And then uh, Doki, Doki Bird hater, Matara hater, Sayu hater. And then talks them, themselves about being the one true mint fan before the collab. After the collab, they just became Bint Bantom. So yeah, they... Their, their ruse is done. They finally showed who they are. And they, because of the fact that Mint and Doki are so close now, or at least have always been close, they've never actually been far, they now don't like it. Here we have another one is Mint and why everyone talking about her and Doki Bird collab. Uh, during the Mint and Doki Bird WrestleTuber collab, that don't know on Pomu. <laughs> yeah, everyone doesn't know on Pomu. But yeah, it, I love these little things here. Next one is this fight was hilarious. Just had to make a meme out of it. Not his real Twitter. Don't take it seriously. I had to highlight that because this is someone that at least puts that they actually 
made something out of this that is not real, okay? It says, about to fight, I'll post the video later. Psych, I got my ass beat, bro, I'm not posting that S. I w it was, uh, of course, you know, him against the Comet. So, of course, the Comet's gonna win. And the final one of the things is a unfortunate meme that popped out of the recent NBA collab, but it is something where, you know, there's no favoritism in Idi Sanji, that's the meme of this whole thing. And of course, they don't actually allow Vivi into the collab, even though they had space because if they're talking about NBA, it's 30 teams, it could be 30 people. You know, they had space for as many people as they could in EN at least, 30 at least. So that is a meme on this end. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out, Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.